Man, you know what? I just fucking hate this dumb fucking elevator cutscenes, man. Why why do they always have the same goddamn cutscenes when you fucking go into the elevators? It doesn't make any sense to me. The fucking fist bump every goddamn time is the same thing. Fuck! Look at that shit. They've done that like a hundred times, man. Oh, psych, gotcha. Fuck me. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the wrap up. The wrap up video is where I review every single game I finish on my channel. This is basically where I go ahead and um, just review everything about the game. Uh, currently we're going to be talking about Wolfenstein Youngblood. We just finished that uh, series on my channel. And uh, well, to be honest with you, I got some stuff to say about it. Uh, I did some extra research and really uh, dug deep into what I actually liked and what I didn't like uh, about Wolfenstein. So real quick, um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more content, feel free to press the subscribe button and uh, let's reach them 50 together. <laughs> That's a big deal, okay? Um, anyway, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Okay, first off, straight from the bat, uh, once you get to know these girls, you kind of think they're kind of cool. You kind of can't relate to them because they're just teenagers, but really quickly already you start noticing that they're kind of really fucking weird and awkward together. Um, what I notice is they they are supposed to be really close, but uh, the game doesn't really give you much uh, for that. It's not like you ever feel them being close, you just know that they are supposed to be close because they're sisters and then the main characters of the game. Um, some other thing I really did notice is that it definitely is um, meant for two players, but honestly, I tried it and it doesn't really add much value, um, so you kind of just prefer playing alone, which was the case for me. Uh, some other things I didn't like uh, was the elevator cutscenes, <laughs> as you saw from the intro. I fucking hate those. They're dumb as hell. They're always the same thing. The same five videos or four. I don't even know. It's it's just not good. Um, beside that, once you get close to enemies in melee combat, uh, she will do a combo. If you use the melee button, uh, the combo is usually always the same. There's no real anything in there there's no multiple player combinations as you see in like uh, uh, the Witcher for example but um, it's just one thing and that's kind of what's really bummed me out because this game could have had so much more potential if it just was a bit more diverse honestly what I think about it I feel like it's been kind of rushed to be honest Wolfenstein is just a simple no-brainer game you kind of come in to shoot some Nazis uh, but if you just want to do that and you don't want to enjoy the game you could just play any of the other Wolfenstein games I definitely would recommend uh, anything but this one. This one just doesn't feel real nice. Uh, you do get a little bit of a nostalgia feeling when you meet Blaskowitz again, which is kind of cool. The cutscene of that one's really fucking awesome. Um, however, the final boss fight, I felt like it was just rushed. It was boring. It was lame. There was nothing interesting about it. Um, I did have a good time enjoying the game simply because I just could do it with you guys, but I, I really cannot see myself possibly playing it when I'm alone. Um, some other thing I really hated was that, uh, the skins in the game that make you look kind of cool. Uh, the one I got was just because I bought the Deluxe Edition, but if you didn't buy it, you have to buy, uh, it's basically you have to pay real life money to get skins in a game that doesn't add any value to the multiplayer. Uh, it's just simply not worth it and I don't see anybody ever doing that. Um, yeah, as you might have noticed, not much positive to say about the Wolfenstein, which I really find a bummer because... Uh, it could have been a lot more, which it just simply isn't. And that's been kind of, uh, it's been disappointing, let me tell you. Definitely not, uh, was expecting that, because when I saw the trailers and the cutscenes and the gameplay in the beginning, it really looked a lot better than, uh, what it, what it, uh, turned out to be. Unfortunately, this is not what I expected from a Wolfenstein game, but, you know, uh, can't have it all, you know what I mean? Beside that, uh, they tried. They definitely gave a good world to it, but it was just not what I was looking for. Uh, honestly, I think they just took the easy way out in this game, and that's kind of a, a huge waste. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, what I'm going to be rating this game will be a 3 out of 10. It's it's not getting a very high rating simply because it just doesn't put in... It feels like there's no effort put into it. And the only reason I'm giving it uh, 3 points to begin with is because... Uh, it's nice to play when you're like just 
don't feel like doing anything that takes that has to you have to use your mind for um let me know if you guys agree in the comments let me know if you think i'm completely wrong uh, if i miss some points if you guys don't think uh my review matters whatsoever <laughs> anything was welcome anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys had a good time and i will see you guys in the next one all right thank you bye bye